guys, it's Bonds, and today we're going to be talking about the Sonic thing. Now, I'm not just going to be one of those people that doesn't like Sonic, but there is a reason why there's no Sonic stuff on that shelf right there. So today, we're going to be talking about Sonic Triple Trouble for the Sega Game Gear. Doesn't that just sound like a fun time? What's that? Wait a minute, I remember you. You should know me. I'm Sonic the Hitchhawk. Remember all those year ago when you knocked me out and locked me in your closet? Well, not anymore. I'm gonna make you play this game whether you want me to do it or n Um, actually, I was just gonna play the game right now. I don't. But I need your influence right now. Ha 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 ha. Wow. Well, at least I can help you play it. Sonic Triple Trouble. Starts out with the traditional Sega jingle. And what? What are those? Why is, why is Knuckles and Sonic so shiny? Oh, at least tails are normal. Just hope that Eggman is normal too. Oh, what is that thing? Is this a Sonic game? You sure that this is a Sonic game? I'm not really sure. Just hold on, let me look at let me look at my foot. Yeah, this is a Sonic game. The performance of this game is not good. The frame rate keeps going up and down, just everywhere. And whenever you like break something, it just completely lags out. And the sprites are okay, I guess. I mean, certainly, I certainly do better, but. It looks like something in MS Paint, just saying. But you gotta remember, Bonds, the Game Gear, this game had hardware limitations. Ooh. Well, that doesn't excuse the terrible, terrible game I'm playing right now, because just look at what Nintendo did with the Game Boy. Look at the PSP. It's not a good example of a PSP. You, could, you guys could do better. Sega, you gotta get gooder. Wow, you're actually doing a lot better than I thought you would. Yeah, that's because I've played this before to test if it works. But I died multiple times while trying to test if it works because you can't see anything. The screen is so tiny. The game gear is tiny. Everything is tiny. You can barely see the enemy in front of you. you can barely see the jump thing in front of you. It's just not good. And look at that in GUI. Why is the GUI clipping through the ground? That's not how GUIs work. Now, I had to record footage for this because this is a game review. And when you look around your footage, you seem to notice some things that you didn't really notice that you weren't going to complain about, but you ended up complaining about anyway. Take this for example. If you look up at the clipping through the ground GUI, you can see that I have 21 wings. And I hit spike and I only get three wings back. Why Why would they do that? Usually in a regular Sonic game, you get all of your wings so that you have a chance to collect them all again. But no, you only get three. Now you gotta remember, hardware limitations. Now oh, shut up, Sonic. You're the one who made this bad. Hey, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be the snarky one. Then why aren't you? What, what do you mean I'm not snarky? I'm the Sonic Hedgehog. I'm rude. I got an attitude. Well, I guess you can probably tell what's gonna happen next. Wait, how am I supposed to know? I'm not telling. Pathic. Oh, that's sweet. You finished each other's sentences. So, thank you all for watching. Um, I gotta get rid of this again. So, I'll be right back. He's right, he is pretty snarky. I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully containing less Sonic the Hedgehog. And bye.